Hey guys, Smoky Mountain family here again. We've been on the road all day. We've been driving up the I-75 corridor uh, from here to Kentucky, which also means that we've been driving through the remnants of Hurricane Ida all day long. We left at like nine o'clock this morning. We've been gone the entire day. We seen in the comments and a couple people have messaged us about what, if anything, has been the impacts of Hurricane Ida on the region here, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and all that. So we just got back in town. Right now it is the 31st, and it is right around 11 o'clock, 11.30, and we're here at the Old Mill. So we're gonna take a look at the impacts that Ida has had thus far. So you can see there's definitely been an impact here. I mean, the water is up. It's definitely raging over the, over the waterfall a little harder than it normally does we're still getting rain right now and we're under a flash flood watch up until about wednesday at 2 p.m so it seems like the weather is going to keep pouring on us it's pretty saturated here like i said we've been watching when uh, driving through the rain all day long this is what it's looking like here at the old mill so you can see the water's kind of encroaching up on to the steps there. And you can still see there's a lot of rain still coming down. And here on the other side of the bridge from the mill, you can see it's starting to rise up on the banks a little here. And you always know that there's extra water running through the river here when it's uh, more of a brown color. Normally it's not. So we just drove from the old mill down here to downtown Gatlinburg. And this is the scene here, very reminiscent of what we've seen during Fred. It may not, it's not as high right now, but it's certainly getting up there. We got like a 90% chance of rain up until late in the morning tomorrow. So again, we're seeing back to back remnants of hurricanes coming through or, or at least tropical storms coming through and seeing big water as a result. So waters are definitely on the rise. And in the morning, we are also gonna get some of this to see what transpires overnight and see where the water levels are tomorrow. So we're gonna be out again tomorrow doing the same thing. Here right in front of the aquarium. water's just a couple feet from where it was when Fred came through. Yeah, and it's now it's about almost midnight here on the 31st. And another shot from right in front of Ripley's here. <laughs> 